fitness, I'm a physio and fit as a physio. These are some taping techniques I use to prevent and treat injuries. So how do you think we're going to strap our ankle? What are we going to do first? Anchor first. Anchor first, yep. Where are we going to put our anchor? Up around the, just above the ankle. Yep. How high up should we go? About where, just where you are now. <laughs> yep. Why would we not go any higher? You don't really need to because we sort of locked off the ankle and so you want to go a bit above the joint and a bit below the joint but you don't need to go right up above the knee obviously. Do text, textbooks say a third of the way up the tibia? Do they? I think so. I haven't read a textbook That's what in many I years. From... <laughs> so cool. anchors don't need to be tight, they just need to go around. Now did anyone see what I did there? I just slightly angled it around her shin. If I went straight across because her calf kicks in, you can see what happens at the back and the front, it just starts to, cr to crinkle. So if I try and go right around, it just doesn't fit smoothly. So I've just gone around slightly on the angle so it stays all nice and smooth. Sometimes I might do two anchors. Again, if they're a bigger, sweatier guy, I might do two anchors just to really lock that down, but generally one's enough. Do you, Had, would you do that if it was a syndesmosis high ankle? I'd, sort of anchor, anchor, anchor? I'd do that at the finish, yep. not at the start. Good question. Keep going. Eh? You're on fire today. <laughs> um, how do we do a stirrup? Where do we start? On that. Where do you start? Inside. Why? Because you're then trying you to, want to support the, the restrict the movement yeah. of that. You're right. Just from that side. Making sure you get it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, so we start medially and we finish laterally. If we want to protect medially, we start laterally and we finish medially. Where do we start? So we're starting medially where? At the, at the strap. Yep. Do I start here? I start here. Where I start? I would start yeah. roughly. I'd start there with my first one. Yep. And then the next one. Yep. Overlapping. Yep. The next one. Cool. So most of the time you can get away with two stirrups, maybe three stirrups. Again, if you're rushing through 15 rugby players, I'd probably do two stirrups as a standard, unless they're really lax laterally. So start one behind the malleoli, and normally I just lay that on on the skin. Normally then I get up to roughly where I want, tear it off, and then my force is then providing a little bit of extra support up on that lateral side, a little bit behind the malleolo as well. So one, the second one you can sort of come a little bit further over the malleolo, pulling up laterally. So a bit more anterior. A little bit more anterior. Third one, for Ella I probably wouldn't do a third one because she hasn't got massive ankles, but just while we're here I will do a third one. I like the third one. You like the third one? You are I reckon bit. that's the that's the key bit of tape in the whole thing for me. See, he's always going to be questioning me today. <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, no, that's the difference. So there, three stirrups. Now, if someone's coming back from an ankle, or actually in the rehab setting, that might be enough just to give them a little bit of proprioceptive feedback of their ankle supported laterally, and you can just lock them off there. Um, some guys, that's all they want is just a couple of stirrups. So again, ask them what they uh, what they want. Now, Ella's doing the standard drop down, so you've got to keep reminding them to keep their toes up. Okay, what's next? Figure of six? Which way do we go? Why? Yeah, so we're trying to do the same thing. So we're trying to support laterally. So the figure of six sort of covers a little bit more anterior part of the joint. You might get a little bit more sort of down through your ATFL. So you come across, keeping it nice and flat so it looks like a six. Okay, again, I normally do two of these, sometimes three depending on how big the person is. Up and over, slightly overlap the tape, make sure it's smooth. So we're really just trying to get tape covering that ATFL. Just cover cover through the front, so when she points and inverts, it just tries to protect that, that range, although she's pretty lax through her ankle, isn't she? Would you go the other way? Reverse six? As a standard? I do. You can do. There's nothing wrong with not with doing a reverse six. I tend to not to as a, as a standard, but if you've got someone who's had a little bit of medial sprain as well, Start laterally, come up medially, and just give that deltoid ligament a little bit of support on the medial side. Again, you can do once, twice. Depends who's paying for the tape. Depends who's paying for the tape. <laughs> exactly right. And you'll, get, and you'll get boys that are just super precious and they say, oh no, I really need it. Okay. Yep. So if you want to, then you can do a double. And if you're good, then it looks like a cross at the front of the joint. <clears throat> Don't go straight across the joint because it'll cut off and it'll be feeling comfortable. So try and angle that six a little bit sort of diagonally up and across. What's next? 
I don't tend to do a figure of eight. Um, I do a half heel lock. Sorry, I'm just trying to measure that because I'm going to use that in a second. Lost my main tag. Those are a bit old. They're not sticking there. Which way do we go if we're doing a heel lock? Take start from the inside again. Yep. Why? Yeah, I go both ways, but it doesn't really matter where you start, to be honest with you. So heel lock's probably the tricky one. If you haven't strapped an ankle before, or if you're in a rush, this is the tricky one that, that um, takes a bit of practice. Okay? So you call that a half heel lock, what you're doing oh, now. This is a half heel lock. Yep. So wherever you start, you finish. Okay, so start on the inside part of the joint. You wrap it around diagonally across your Achilles, because if you go straight across your Achilles, that's gonna feel really uncomfortable. So go sort of 45 degrees across. You're coming around the calcaneus, and you're basically trying to grab that and move that laterally. And then you're coming back up and over, and it finishes, if you've done it well, where you started. Can I borrow one of your pins? So we'll use this today as a bit of a test, because that's where we should be going, and this is where we should be finishing. Has everyone got that? Because that is a tricky one to do. So, start on the inside. 45 degrees across the Achilles, around, and finish where we started. And you can do that on one side, and then I go heel lock on the other side. So again, start laterally, 45 degrees across your Achilles, around the heel, you're sort of pulling the calcaneus now a little bit medially and locking it in. That's why they call it a heel lock, and just finish where you started. Now this is the tricky one. If you've got, not haven't got a great position, if you get your tape and start to cut corners, this is where you're going to crease your tape. Okay, so lay the tape on, on an angle and just follow the contour of the body. And really, if you do it well, which I didn't do, you should just follow around and it comes back to where you start. Nice and smooth is the key. Go on the inside. I'm hardly putting any tension on there, but I'm just following the line up and around. Simple, isn't it? And if we're good, if you just bend your knee up, we should have a bit of a cross across our Achilles, going from medial to lateral. Then I normally finish off with one heel lock. This is a pretty solid ankle strap, by the way. That's the, that's the, the, the works, isn't it? This is the works, yeah. I normally go one, maybe two. Like Fergus said before, for a syndesmosis type injury, sort of a bit higher up the fibula, I might compress it one, two, three heel locks, um, anchors at the finish to lock it all down, just to provide, provide a little bit more compression through your tip fib. That's pretty solid. Mm. That ankle's not really going anywhere. No. <laughs> Questions, queries, comments? Just a, just a variation if someone's hobbling off the field or hobbling into your practice on an acute ankle, I would use the light wrap underneath first for a bit of compression. So the white stretchy stuff underneath yep. first. Do you do yep. that crap? What, yeah, yeah. what do you do? For, for an the, acute one, yeah, the, I would do. For the day zero one? And then if you want to, if they're really swollen laterally, you can put a little a bit of adhesive foam around your fibula and put, do a bit of a U-pad just try to try and block that swelling away. So you can yeah. put a little bit of padding around here. And that just sort of squishes in. Squishes the fluid away from that gutter. Fluid out of there. So you want to get that gutter back as quick as you can on the, on the lateral side. You can do it immediately too. Yeah, so light wrap underneath on those day zero ones I like. And they'll walk out a lot happier. Yeah. 